that was a minute of silence for the Amazons that are still burning at a rapid pace. The fires seem to have started by farmers who do it regularly to make more room. They burn the forests to make more room to raise cattle. In combination with global warming and climate change, um, fire took off. Oh boy, did it take off. The Amazons are about a little over 20% of the oxygen supply for this earth. And don't get me wrong, I care about our love life and I care about our career and, I, and our goals and I dream in our dreams, but I just don't see the point if we can't breathe. So a lot of people ask, what can I do? There's a lot you can do. And you're not gonna like, some of you aren't gonna like what I'm about to say, but science is science, facts are facts. Mm. Um, vegetarian slash vegans, people who don't eat meat, save an average of 3,000 trees per year. One burger patty, patty, not an entire cow. One burger patty takes 600 gallons of water to produce. Basic consumption laws, supply and demand. You pay for it, you create it. Stop paying for things you don't want to create. My name is Morgane. Welcome to the Existential Shift. If this was your first time, you most you 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 beat the odds. You won the statistics because most people who clicked my video for the first time um, clicked off in the first 60 seconds that I was silent. Silent? Silent. Quiet. Quiet. But those of you who know me better knows that, oh, something is coming. Well, there you have it. Okay, Libra. Of course I'll do it with Libra. You're the energy of justice and of equilibrium. for human beings, for animals, for trees. Because if you're a spiritual entity that seeks and yearns for truth, then you know that we're all one. The pain of the Amazons and of the trees and of the nature and of this earth and of the animal kingdom is our pain. I spoke about um, the collective karma that we carry for what we do to the animal kingdom and to nature um, and how it affects humanity in the video I posted uh, yesterday morning, the live video. It's called 5 a.m. live. Uh, where will humanity be when Gaia shifts? And Gaia will shift. The Earth will survive. I don't know if we will. All right, four, almost five minutes in. And let's talk about our crappy love life, shall we? <laughs> or whatever else the cards will bring up. Let's see. Okay, I'm using the, the Golden Universal Tarot that are absolutely gorgeous and exquisite. And I will finish up with, um, with the message from the Animal Spirit cards oracles um and yeah let's get to this libra happy birthday to your early libras of uh september birthdays thank you for being here message for my libras please for my libra seekers sun moon rising venus you know the drill right hierophant and three of pentacles okay Someone is committing to building a future that is aligned with their truth and with their highest goals. And that is beautiful. That is both spiritual and grounded. 
which is what I'm trying to do for you guys here. Connect the worlds that aren't really separated, right? The 3D is just the, you know, one of the first layers of the oil painting. It's not away or attached or lesser than the, you know, above layers that make the painting so beautiful. They build it. It's the ground floor. This earth is important. This existence is important. This physical world is important. It is spiritual. And some of you who are watching me right now know it, understand it, and live by it. You're building something, Libra. You're, you're building something. Um, some of you, few of you, building a school or a classroom or something that you want to share with the world or with your environment. And it's looking good. Devil in the reverse. Oh, we're going to have a talk. Yes. Don't you just love it when I want to have a talk? Hmm. Okay. Look at this. I speak about the access of the Hierophant and the Devil on my Tarot Masterclass because they are forever linked in this polar existence. Dimension, should I say. This polar dimension. Um, the good and the bad. The light and the dark. The above and the below. The spiritual and the physical and so on and so on. They exist because of the other. Let's do this for a second. I, I will link both of them um, below in the information box because they come with a very important message for, for the human existence and condition in general. Okay, The eternal battle between our inner voices, the aspiration to grow, to evolve, to learn, to do what's right, and succumbing to our desires, passions, and so on. Now, I do not want to portray myself as someone who has an issue with passions and desires. It's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to vices, okay? Passion is the thing that allows us to maintain life. All right, two people are passionate towards each other. They feel passion, and, you know, the rest is history. Children, yeah. You got, okay. I'm not referring to the natural state of love of life. I'm referring to self-deceit, fears, addictions, lies, manipulations, all that gunk. Higher frequency, lower frequency. You get you get the point, right? And they're forever always exist. Behind every devil, there is a hierophant. Behind every hierophant, there is a devil. The hierophant can't exist without defeating his inner devil, and the devil cannot exist without suppressing its inner, its inner hierophant. But boom, what do we have here? Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles, and the devil in the reverse. So someone is winning themselves. Someone is overcoming their mechanism. Someone is seeing themselves clearly and they're doing something about it. I'm so proud of you, Libra. Boom. What is this about, though? You've, you've defeated something, or are defeating something, Libra. Um, and it's still there, because no point of denying aspects of ourselves. That's the shadow work, right? Integrating ourselves into ourselves. And that's balance. This isn't one side or the other. It's both together in balance. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. 
And then there's movement. So someone is going to make a move of some sort that is a result of everything here that I just described. It could be an opportunity offered. It could be um, uh, a business deal. It could be a commitment offer when it comes to your love life. It could be a lot of things in a lot of areas, but it is very grounded. It is very real and it comes from a very authentic self-aware place trustworthy it comes from a trustworthy place it didn't feel trustworthy because if the devil is in the house it doesn't matter if he's in the reverse and right next to the hierophant he's still in the house if he's in the house he entered oh two months ago or a month um, two months ago your video was um, I was titled dancing with the devil in the middle of the room someone has been dancing with their own inner devils and they have been making friends with them and integrating them and making transmuting the pain that they used to give you into healing and empowerment and wisdom and here you are it's no longer in your head or in theory it's no longer in your private life and in your sector it is approached towards something specific to show itself presents itself It's been quiet. This Knight of Pentacles has been quiet, but because he had been dancing with his devil and with his inner hierophant, this Knight of Pentacles was quiet but busy. Silence is loud. You know, the first 60 seconds that you survived, that I was quiet, that was loud, right? It's tense. So the person on the other side, and keep in mind, guys, you can reverse the role, so this could be you or someone else person on the other side I think they may have been doing the same thing that um, loud silence um, it was so in intense created the same thing within the other person because it stirred up all their anxieties and concern and question marks. And they found themselves dancing with their angel and with their devil in the middle of the room. Watch that video. Ten of Pentacles. This is, especially when we have the higher fan as the first card, this is a marriage proposal. So those of you who are in a committed relationship, you might be taking it further this month. Um... But but what? Hold on. Explain this to me, please. Nine of Swords. Yeah, I knew it can't be that simple. Nine of Swords. You can look at it for a second. Yeah, it's not fun. Um. Someone is going through bottom of the deck, ten of cups, interesting. 
someone is going through a lot of anxiety, um, a lot of worry. If there's someone in your family that is not well, sick, potentially a mother figure, there's a strong Taurus energy on the table, a lot of earth. I only have earth except for the Nine of Swords. Hierophant, Three of Pentacles, the Devil, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Empress. All Earth, Libra. You are building something. That is intended to last for a really long time. There's something big here that you're working on. And I don't know if it, you know, it causes you to lose sleep at night because it's so big for you. Or so meaningful for you to you um, or if while you're doing all of this there's someone that you care about that is going through some hard time that you're worried about so it's like it's like being in two separate dimensions one that is very anchored and, and strong and um, abundant and clear and the other that is really really dark and tumultuous and, and, and that holds a lot of anxiety and it's like it's like it's like having two different brains inside uh, that have a different experience your jam it's very it's very polar, like jumping from one state of mind to the other. Sometimes it mixes up a little bit and you, you, you're not sure if you're really happy or really sad. Um, reality check. Things are good, Libra. Things are looking really good. Even if you feel something inside that is challenging, um, your actions are seemingly here very productive like you're doing the thing the get up dress up show up no matter what and you're doing it really really well and this emotional darkness whatever it is that you're going through or someone else that you care about is going through might even not not only it's not going against it it's actually in a way uh, pushes it forward like gives you you know how I said um, transmuting the pain into energy into life force I think that's what you're doing there's some sort of pain that you're carrying that you're that you have learned maybe naturally or maybe cognitively I don't know but you've learned how to to take advantage of it you know I, I talk about it a lot energy is energy joy is energy agony is energy you can either let it paralyze you or you can be like, okay, dear self, everything within me right now is pure energy. And I have the free choice to mold it the way I want to mold it. How about, dear self, yeah, talk to yourself. They say it's healthy. And that's the way to transmit it. You can just say it to yourself. Your brain, your, your spirit will just do the work. Trust it. Let's use this for growth. You know, like manure. Feeds the soil. Peacocks, they can consume poison and they transmute it into nutrition. They don't get hurt by it. Are you some kind of a peacock, Libra? There's money, in case you were wondering. There's a relationship, in case you were wondering. But there's also... Um, Oh, 
Oh, hello, Page of Wands. Page of Wands has been coming up in every single reading. Well, he is the Sagittarius, the adventurer. That wants to experience everything. And it's the first light-hearted energy. It's been very heavy so far. You want to take a look? Hi, Rose. I think there's something to do with the mother-child situation, home, family. Someone might not be feeling well, and either you or someone else is inclined to help and support and maybe travel for the sake of um, that family member. Um, spending more time with them or something like that. I don't know the level of the issue. I don't do health readings, but take it as it resonates to you. It doesn't have to resonate with you. You can watch your other placements. We will have a extended um, that will focus solely on love. So stay tuned for the fun. <laughs> but family values are at hand. This could be um, finally feeling like you are more accepted or seen by your family. Maybe so far you were the black sheep or maybe you made yourself the black sheep. Um, but there's a new, you know, there's, there's a new wind, there's new energy that is more accepting. I think there's also uh, a parent that is very concerned about their child, about their habits and about their vices and about their um, behavior and patterns. Connect the dots for me, please, for Libra for September. Connect the dots, please. Show me further into what is going on and advice, preferred action, please, for Libra. Guidance for Libra for September. Show me more. And this is very you, Libra. This is Venus. There's also a lot of physical beauty here. A lot of physical beauty. So I don't know if someone works in the beauty industry, modeling, acting, uh, but someone is mesmer. There's someone that is absolutely mesmerizing, that someone is enchanted by, um, drawn to in ways that they're that are new to them. Why are you making me work so hard, cards? Seven of Pentacles fell in the reverse. I can't help but put it under the uh, page of wands. I feel like someone might feel like they um, may have invested in the wrong place or in the wrong person, or in the wrong thing. They're not sure if they maybe wasted their time or energy, or this could be the more mature individual, perhaps contemplating that in regards to the Page of Wands character. That is very fun and outgoing and adventurous and creative and inspiring, but also um, not matching to this very grounded, abundant, mature, wise energy going on here. It's like, but he's still looking at her in awe. You know, there's still an admiration. I don't, you know what I'm getting also? This could be coming from this page of not being sure that they have what they, you know, that they have what it takes or that they have enough to give. This could be in their mind, you know? But let's see more. Explain this further to me, please. For Libra for September. Explain this narrative to me for Libra. 
another page, page of cups. Yeah, there's definitely family stuff here. Um, there's two children that are very different from one another. Page of Cups and Page of Wands. And I think there's also a situ there, there could be, I'm also getting a situation where there's a, a, a masculine figure, a patriarchal figure that it might be uh, rigid and dogmatic and you know wants what it wants the way it wants or believes what they what it believes in and I think the mother is way more accepting and loving and kind of more on the kids side uh, whether or not he approves or whether he approves or not and there's a lot of concern um, but I want to see into narratives that aren't just this family situation Nine of Wands, right under the Nine of Swords. <sighs> yeah, there's a tr trouble in paradise, okay? So whatever this very stable environment is, um, there are characters that are different and creative and sweet and beautiful, but are just different, okay? And they kind of um, stir up the energies. And that's just the nature of things. Every time in nature something is too stagnant or rigid, even if it's a good thing, something will come along to create, um, because evolution only happens with change and growth and expansion. So there's a reason why this dynamic is uncomfortable. But it's making someone feel paranoid and not belong. And someone here is having a really hard time to express themselves emotionally, how they feel. They feel like it won't be recepted, uh, accepted or respected um, or understood. So they're keeping their guards up. And I think this Nine of Wands character is different than this Page of Cups. I think there's a Page of Cups who's trying to kind of... Um, offer resolution or you know conversation or try to reach out and this character here it could be this guy a little bit paranoid and untrusting someone that has been on their own for a really long time and moving from one place to another so they're used to tending to themselves um, okay I'm actually getting a very specific situation where Someone is mesmerized by this Empress character, by someone very beautiful and interesting and, and gifted and Empress, right? Venus, Aphrodite, uh, Freya, <laughs> all those archetypes. Um, and they want, like, they're lured by the initial warmth and beauty. But when it, when it gets, the Empress is real as fuck, okay? Like, she, she sees through people's emotions, everything. She understands people. She knows how to, you know, approach people. So once it's getting a little bit too real, this guy... I think this Empress character has also expressed her... Um, now, guys... You can reverse the characters. If you feel like you're the Empress, you know, take it as it resonates, okay? You can reverse the roles. But someone here expressed some sort of... Okay, this is what I'm getting. So this is a very grounded, beautiful, empowered individual that is also very kind and nurturing and loving. It's, it's, it's Demeter. It's the goddess of life. And of creation and of birth and all that. But we all have our demons and we all have our secrets and we all have our insecurities. So I feel like this individual here was really uh, lured to her beauty and like everything that is, you know, allegedly perfect. But once, you know, once they got to know also the painful side, the imperfect side, it got them worrying that maybe they can't, you know, that maybe they don't even know how to be there for that person. 
It's like they want to be that person. But then when push comes to shove, there's a sense of being over defensive and timid and paranoid even. Okay. Okay, Queen of Wands in the reverse, yeah. <laughs> Someone is stirring up a fight and is meddling and being in the middle and uh, making someone feel like they can't trust someone else. It's, it's a very um, spiteful, manipulative energy. Very much jealous of this Empress. This Queen of Wands in the reverse, of course. It's a very uh, jealous, jealous, controlling, aggressive, manipulative energy that will go to the extent of black magic and mind games and manipulations in order to make someone look bad. But here's the thing, it's almost impossible to make the Empress look bad. It's like no matter how much they try, the Empress will remain Empress. But if this individual is a page, right? They, they don't then they don't necessarily have the maturity or the wisdom or the experience to recognize the subtleties of manipulation clarify the sum queen of wands in the reverse please Ten of Swords and King of Wands. So King of Wands is the natural counterpart for the Queen of Wands, but when we have the Ten of Swords in the middle and the Queen of Wands in the reverse, so someone, I feel like this Queen of Wands did something really, really nasty. Like, there's some sort of a betrayal here. Someone betrayed someone, stabbed them in the back, um, did something that broke down otherwise something very beautiful and stable and, and created like an, a, um, a breakdown of the energy that was so like strong and beautiful on its own and now it's like just divided like there's 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 um something that was unified is now divided because of honestly someone's immaturity and trust in the wrong person someone trusted the wrong person And, and they got stabbed. Not literally, hopefully. Um, they put their trust in the wrong person for the wrong reasons. And I feel like now they're sitting just staring at the situation being like, well, I guess I did it to myself. <laughs> kind of thing. This King of Wands is like looking at the situation, look at the, looks at the betrayal and how things have happened and they're like yep and I, I think it's the same person here that keeps holding this wand and also this seven of pentacles in reverse you see how he holds a wand here? just intuitively i think it's the same person that i think september will bring an understanding and if this person hasn't been betrayed by or discovered the betrayal by the king of wands or, or learned about the manipulation and how they were wrong about everything um then they will soon i don't know if it's you or someone you're involved with libra you tell me but you know it is the time of truth being you know lies are being revealed truth is being told saturn is going direct And I feel like the um, the massive drama has been around this month of August, maybe end of July. I 
I will, in the extended, I will do a Celt, um, sorry, not a Celtic, a double pentagram that shows you and your person of interest, Libra, and we will see really into specifically mindset, heart set, where you feel you stand, your actions, past, present, future potentials uh, on both your sides. So we'll dive deeper into this and we see what's up. But let's conclude with a spirit animal. Please. And after that, I'm going to reshuffle these cards on the table to choose one card that represents um, the guidance that, you know, what's the guidance to, um, you know, the energy that we are advised to meditate on or to know more about for September. And I will link this card on uh, the information in the description box below. It will lead you to my Tarot Masterclasses, specifically that card, if you want to learn more about it. Okay. Oh, that's too much. Oh my God. Really? No. Okay, a lot of cards fell. Hold on. We can't take them all. I'm just going to tell you which one fell in case you're curious. But So these fell facing up. Hummingbird, owl, bear, zebra, phoenix. Hmm. I asked for one. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. This is what I think. This is what I think, Libra. Are you ready? Someone has been whispering in your ear or in someone's or someone you're involved with. Maybe it's someone you're involved with and someone else has been whispering in their ear. Advice, like a wise owl advice. Now they have been kept, they were kept quiet. So the other person doesn't know about this um, other individual, friend, family member, someone they're involved with, whatever. And whilst this person that had this, you know, energy whispering in their ear, all the bullshit, um, I'm getting that this, you know, winter winter sleep, right? So this bear here, well, while they were like going through a, uh, they were kind of asleep, <laughs> not like physically sleeping, but like their consciousness was something about it that was very easy to influence. They weren't very sharp. Maybe they were, they were just going through something or whatever. But so this person that was yattering in their ear, or affecting them in a way, away from this empress, you know, they they had their attention. But I'm getting that this bear turned zebra. <laughs> like their intuition is now, they're sharper, they're, they're, they woke. The bear is awake from their winter sleep. Um, and the zebra is kind of, you see how, um, you see how their third eye suddenly seeing the colors beyond the black and white point of view, like seeing the complexity of thing or the truth of the thing, like their mind is awakening to it, their, their intuition more like it. And it's like turning their head away from this, um, and I think this owl, so, okay, Libra, if this isn't you, if this bear zebra character is someone you're involved with and they had someone else meddling, telling them things or luring them away from you, the other person knows about you. Right? The other person knows about you. And I think this is this was uh, an intentional separating separating kind of energy. But that person is now becoming conscious of it. Like they're, they're, they're suddenly, the truth is suddenly like burning on the inside. They're starting to just see things differently, realize things. And Libra, if you are this bear zebra, then you have someone in your life that you feel like they have been um, pulling you away from someone else. Like this could be the, 
uh, Queen of Wands in the reverse pulling you away from the Empress. Now you're waking up to it. And, and I think those are the scenarios, right? I covered the scenarios. But play with it. You know, you can be any person on this um, on this table. Interesting. Hmm. It's just... I can make an entire reading just with the uh, just with the spirit animal. Okay, let's choose one of these cards. I'm, I'm regardless. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna link the uh, hierophant and the devil in the description box. But let's see what is the specific energies that we are advised to meditate on or know more about for September. What is the focal point? For my Libras, please, for September. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's not, you can't take the reverse aspect of it because um, it's a different aspect of the reading. So I'll link also the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Libras, thank you. If, you. if you've made it this far, you're a diehard seeker. Existential shifter. I love you guys very much. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to press the subscribe button and the bell button next to it to receive a notification to watch your future videos. And, oh, I do private readings. All the links are in the description box. So there's uh, a way to book a private reading with me. I also do mentor shifts. It's like 10 sessions. Um, and that's a major um, provoking of your spirit. And tarot masterclass, you already know, to learn tarot, become a tarotchi. And it's a tarot library, so you can pick and choose whichever uh, class you want, learn about whichever card you want. Um, join me on Instagram, The Existential Shift. And, oh, there's still 2019 Ministress of Magic, the extended yearly for this year. We still have four months to go, four or five months to go uh, for 2019, and it's third price. So if you want to check your zodiac for this uh, year, Feel free to do so. Okay, guys. Bye. See you in your birthday season. Bye.